So uh, the next speaker is a very old, old friend, is in Arimat. He's senior researcher at the Supramolecular Group at ICM2. He has a long expertise on the development, synthesis, characterization of metal organic frameworks. And he has a very long expertise also on the development of the of the product from the development of the basic principles of the of the of the material up to the final um, up to the final not commercialization but at least uh, proof of principles to go to industry. So the talk of Inar today is metal organic frameworks based composites for water purification, and I think it's a good example or it's a model case on the development of. Uh, uh, lab product or a lab material that can go finally to the to the patent to the licitation and finally to industry inara i guess you are there thank you thank you very much i, I hope i hope <laughs> we have hope on this <laughs> and thank so you then, Neus, the first of all, i would like to thank uh, Neus and maria jose to give me the opportunity i will share my screen if everything is correct um, then we just, as uh, Neus said, um, uh, we'll, I will try to explain one project in which we are involved. It's about metal organic framework based composite for water purification. And um, well, first of all, I... okay, then. Um, just a brief introduction of, 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 of our group. Um, our group is uh, is uh, the supramolecular and nanomaterials uh, chemistry and nanomaterials group is led by Daniel Maspok. No, it's, it's the boss. I'm in the picture, but I'm behind. <laughs> and our main interest is a self assembly of materials with empty space, and use this space to encapsulate, store, separate, react, and deliver molecules of interest. Then, um, yeah, I don't know. Okay, it's quite. Uh, it's quite slow, but um, okay. Then uh, we have a, our group is divided into parts and it's quite uh, interesting is them. We have a group that is more related to basic science and uh, in reticular materials. And we have another uh, subgroup part um, that is more applied for applied science and, and in focus on delivery systems. In, and you will see that uh, in this project, um, I will explain a project that is going from basic to applied, but uh, the project starts from applied to basic. Then it's uh, quite, quite, uh, quite curious. Then uh, uh, I will try to introduce what is a reticular material, because maybe this concept is new, is, is new for you. And reticular chemistry is the linking, the definition is the linking of molecular building blocks together by strong coordination or covalent bonds to make porous crystalline frameworks. Then uh, reticular materials, we have many three kinds of, of, of reticular materials. We have the metal organic frameworks, covalent organic frameworks, and uh, metal organic polyhedral. And why these materials are interesting? Because uh, first of all, they have, uh, because they are combining uh, organic chemistry metallic ions and, uh, and, 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 and different kinds of bonds. We have very rich diversity of uh, in composition, structure, and topologies. They are very, very porous. And we can reach surface areas of more than uh, 7,000 square meter per gram. This more or less uh, is to put a football field in one gram, more or less. They show high thermal stability, up to 300. 500 degrees Celsius, high chemical stability. And uh, they can easily, because synthetically it's very flexible, we can combine other functions to the, to, to the main property that is, that is, is the porosity. Then uh, as, uh, as Neus and Maria Jose was interested about the, all the, the process, uh, just, I want to show the time frame of the of time frame of the of, of this project because uh, we started this project in uh, 2010. We can put the origin of this project in 2010. Uh, in 2010, we are started the, the I think that the group started at 2009, uh, and we start we had a collaboration with a, a 
fragrance company to do system the delivery system of, of fragrance. And we went to a, to a, to a conference yeah, in Geneva, a flavor and aroma encapsulation conference. It was not our expertise, but we went to, to and in this conference, we, we, we discovered the spray dryer, it was quite new for us. Yeah. And uh, we decide, okay, maybe for uh, our group, it's interesting to, to purchase a spray dryer for the applied uh, applied science part, but also maybe for 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 more particular material. Then we purchase this uh, this uh, spray dryer. <clears throat> the same time or less, uh, Daniel eh, applied for uh, ERC uh, consolidator. Uh, Project uh, grant, then uh, he, he failed for the first time. <laughs> he failed a second time, but at, at the third time, uh, he succeeded. And meanwhile, we were uh, we decided to use this spray dryer to synthesize our materials, our materials of regulation that are MOFs, metal organic frameworks, these particular materials. And uh, we succeed on this then. We, we saw, okay, that we have a new methodology that it's quite uh, easy because spray dryer, I will explain later, it's a very common technology in, in industry. And we decided to patent. And in this patent also, we start to introduce the concept of moth based composite, you know, metal organic framework based composite. It is that we have a porous material, but we can combine another material and we can introduce a new functionality. Then the third time we success with uh, with uh, with uh, this ERC uh, consolidated grant application, and we start the project. Then uh, exploring the, the different uh, combining metal organic frameworks for material with different um, different inorganic nanoparticles. We start a collaboration, a very active collaboration with uh, Neus uh, and, and, and and Victor. Then um, we are working on, uh, on doing composite for green catalysis, also for water absorption. And we start exploring the, this water treatment uh, application. At the same time, we um, participated to a project dedicated to the high um, upscaling synthesis uh, of uh, nanoporous material, it was Prodia. And this project helped us to, to scale up uh, and to optimize, to optimize the scale up synthesis of, of our material and also composite. And um, also, we start applying for uh, in this water treatment, uh, water treatment uh, application, we applied for uh, a ERC uh, proof of concept. Success, huh? we are lucky. And, and to, to move from this lab uh, scale um, uh, lab scale um, and from this lab scale to the to try to, to, to upscale to the more uh, move the material to the to the more uh, commercial uh, as a commercial part right? then we explore the shaping standards and protocols and now we soon will we are we are testing our materials with the, with the companies. Then this is time frame, but uh, now we can speak about the results. Now, the, 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 the initial objective was to, we, we thought about arsenic because arsenic is, is, is a quite particular metal. Then uh, it's a uh, heavy, heavy metal. It's very used in uh, agriculture with treatments, semiconductors, but it is a this is positive aspect, but there are also very negative aspects. That arsenic is a metabolic poison, eh? and its intake by human leads to accumulation in tissues, and you have many problems like cardiovascular, cancers, and diabetes that are very related to the, to the, to the arsenic. We calculate that the calculation for UN, uh, United Nations, that 220 million are risk of in risk of drinking what arsenic contaminated groundwater. And, um, and combining to this, we can estimate that less than 20% of the world's water 
undergoes any treatment prior to release. That uh, I think that is quite uh, quite critical. And which are the source of the of the arsenic contamination? So this is also particular because you have the mining. Yeah? You have also arsenic uh, because in in process of burning uh, fossil fuels, but also one of the source of the of this arsenic contamination is geogenic. This is not, this is not yeah? and it's for this in for this reason um, you have many um, towns and many mountain chains uh, that are located in the mountain chains are. Uh, have access to very contaminated water. Uh, you have uh, in Andes, Atlas, in Alps, and Bangladesh, you have very high concentration of arsenic in, 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 in groundwater. And then the access of this of this uh, of this mountain and, and, and the people that is living in, the, in this mountain is, is quite complex. Then, uh, as I said, the villages that are not connected to the main water grid or connected of of uh, of polluted contaminant need solution to remove this arsenic because they cannot even drink, maybe cannot do even coffee with, uh, with, um, with uh, the water that they, they, they have in the, um, they have it at home. Then uh, they need to test permanently as uh, they monitor the arsenic concentration and some days they can. They, they need solution and they cannot be connected to other purification systems. There are solutions, but uh, in general, the solution are you have this ion exchange uh, or reverse osmosis uh, solution. But in general, uh, first they are quite expensive and big. In general, um, they are not very effective for arsenic because it's quite, it's a quite particular metal. Uh, the absorption also is depending on the pH and the small change in the condition uh, require a strong. Uh, uh, strong uh, adapt, uh, adaptation of the of the of the uh, to the to the to the to the different uh, water conditions and for this at the um, the solution that uh, the industry is looking for is maybe to have new absorbent that are more flexible maybe cheaper and and less less complicated to 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 install well they then, uh, then we decide. Oh, why not? Why not? Uh, why not? Why can can we um, can can we uh, use our materials? Can we combine some inorganic nanoparticle organic nanoparticles and some metal organic frameworks that have some affinity uh, with uh, arsenic and other heavy metals? Eh? But, uh, here I will focus. I will show results also with. Uh, other heavy metals, and and why um, then? Okay, okay. Then we, we have the material. The the, the synthetic process uh, is uh, the spray dryer, and the spray dryer is a very old technique. In general, it's to do to do to dry. The process is to dissolve uh, a, a feed. Um, um, functional functional molecule or polymer or, what, or whatever in a, in solution and create a cloud of, uh, of of droplets and when these droplets enter in contact with a hot stream uh, you dry it and you create a a, 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 a powder with a fine uh, fine uh, fine particles this, this is a general process to do to do milk powders for example. Then we decide to apply uh, this process to, to our materials. Then in our, in our case, what, what we use is a, the, the, the droplet cloud that you are creating, uh, uh, the droplet spray that you are creating, each droplet acts as a micro, micro reactor. Right? You have the reactants. When these droplet enter in contact with the hot, in the, with the hot stream, you have uh, the reaction start. Okay, and the MOF crystallization start. And after the, all the uh, solvent is evaporated, you are creating this kind of uh, dried MOF particle that is uh, it's a bit, it's more or less spherical and, uh, and, 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 and composed by the by, by MOF crystals. Then the advantage of the, of, the, of the approach is not only the synthesis, because 
you can mix whatever we want with uh, with uh, more precursor. And then following the same process, you can at the end during the MOF crystallization, the, 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 the other molecule or nanoparticle or whatever is inside the droplet and will be entrapped in the, in the final material. Don't is just very easy technique to do this, uh, this, kind, of, uh, this kind of composite. No? Basically. Then uh, in our case, we focus because we had discussions with, uh, with Neus and Victor and, uh, we did this combination uh, that we choose the cerium oxide. Um, cerium oxide and YCCC, why cerium oxide? Because they, they show this um, affinity to, to, to heavy, heavy metal ions. And uh, YCCC also, and then the porosity was uh, quite important that the material, uh, we, we thought that it was the best combination. Then here you, you see more or less the, the different batches that of, of, of particles that we, we synthesize. You, you see the, the, the shape and here, I don't know, maybe the contrast is not good, but you can see that some bright points in the, in the, in the, inside of the beads. And this is the nanoparticle that you, are, you can see here that the brightness of the inorganic nanoparticles is higher than the MOF because of the density. The density. And then we have the material. This is super easy to do. Then uh, we start slowly because this we start like uh, this, like we were discovering. Then uh, we 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 did from metal capture performance, but uh, as we are we read some papers, but uh, not maybe not uh, the good ones. And we did the first static test. Then we saw that the the, the, the performance of uh, we mix a mixture of, of, of uh, different mixture of metals and, and we check how the material absorbs and we saw that, okay, it, it seems that uh, the material is absorbing even arsenic that in general is not important, not very super, super high, but, but with the amount that we, of MOV that we added, it, it was, the performance was interesting. Then, okay, we, we move a little bit, uh, maybe more realistic uh, experiment we decide to integrate our powder into a continuous flow system and we perform the same, the, the, the same experiment. And, and, uh, and the results were, were very similar. And we did, we did one cycle, we did uh, of addition of the, of, the, of the mixture of the solution with uh, heavy metal iron, first of all, and the performance were very good. And we were quite happy. And then we also test uh, some recovery uh, recovery uh, experiment. Then uh, why recovery? Because well, we have one material. It's it's also good to explore if we can uh, recycle this. Uh, this uh, we can absorb, but we can recover the metal that is absorbed. Yeah, can you see that? Yeah. Sorry. Huh? We had a small cut in the connection. Ah. Huh? Okay. Uh, oh, it's okay? Go ahead. It's okay or no? It's okay, it's okay. Ah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Then it's interesting to do this recovery process that it's to, uh, to try to regenerate our porous material that to, to, to use it uh, many times. Then the, the, the regeneration is based on to use uh, uh, a ver, uh, an acid, orthophosphoric acid, it's not a strong acid and to move it and you can recover all the, all the metals and, and we have them, the, the, we can recycle the, 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 our composite. Then we, we try to do, okay, uh, we are doing all this mixture in the, in the lab, but what is the reality? No? What is the, the reality of contaminated uh, waters? Then we, we um, we decide to we, ch we check the bibliography and we check okay there are three rivers in the world that have uh, very contaminated uh, waters Sarno we went to we went to Sarno we have able to have water from Sarno directly and um, we choose other two two rivers Buringanga uh, in Bangladesh and Bon in, in Indonesia and um, and we we simulate these waters. At, uh, to, uh, 
to, to evaluate the performance of, of, of our material in front of this, uh, this contaminated water. And as you can see, well, the initial, the initial uh, concentration of, of, uh, of heavy metals in, in, this, in, in, the, in this river. And um, as you can see, the efficiency of our material was, was, was very good because the, the absorption of, of the, the, me, the metal ions that are it's, it's uh, almost 90%. Some of them is 100%, but it was working pretty well, pretty well. Then, uh, but it's not finished, of course, but because everything is that is simulated, as you can see, simulated uh, in uh, powder and, um, and the gap, the gap between the, these tests and uh, and, uh, and the final application is is still big. Because first we need low cost. With the material we selected, we are quite close from the from the, the cost because why is not a very is not a very it's not very expensive to do in serum oxide. Also, is not a very expensive uh, nanoparticle. And we need to maintain like, this high performance and we need to have a high stability in, 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 to fill this gap. Then first thing that is that um, we are, we, when we are synthesizing, we, when you synthesize spray dryer, use the spray dryer, in general, you have a, a powder. And the industry does not like the powder in general because uh, um, the, the it's easy to manipulate. It's not super good for the workers, and and um, and, 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 and they prefer to do an, to shape the material before to to to, to use this uh, this kind of uh, to, to mix with another another uh, polymer in general to to have a, a more manipulable. We did it. No? We we mix with polyether sulfon. That is a polymer that is very used in this kind of membranes absorption membranes. Because it's macroporous, as you can see, it it is work, working. As you see, our beads in blue, and 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 the, and the polymer that is. Then what we did is okay. We buy we buy a prototype okay, from Brita, and we did, okay. We will test it. We will replace the material that uh, is in the is in the um, in this commercial uh, product. That is in general is a polymer resin. And activated carbon with a mixture. Let's see, I don't know. Okay, here, and we replace by our granules, which is in our white, and we did different different tests. Uh, also, because of course that we can do some mixture in the lab, that we need to also to, to to be close to the reality. We 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 try to meet some standards. You know? And we, we decided to do this uh, American National Standards Institute. We take this very, uh, these conditions no? to, to apply that, uh, to synthesize the hard water, uh, the concentration of metal pollutant and the required reduction were very clear. Eh? And also the amount, and, and we decide to apply and to check if we can, uh, we can, uh, we can achieve this uh, the, this high performance for with this condition, and we did it. And we compare with uh, with uh, with uh, the commercial product that is the, the Brita. You have Brita in orange, activated carbon that is very common, and in, in, in black, and our granules, pure granules, and a, a mixture of granules and activated carbon. And you can see far from the arsenic that our performance was very very good, comparable for. For example, the performance of, of copper and, uh, and and lead, but for metals that are quite critical, that chromium, that requires an an additional interaction between the, 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 the absorbent and 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 the and the metal, uh, we have better performance. This was uh, we were very happy with these results. And uh, exactly that we are auto performing. We did also very cycling experiments with liters and liters and liters, and, and the performance was also very good. Then, um, then now um, I don't know what we have. Okay, then now I'm finishing. Then now we can we can say that 
we have a material that is working. Yeah? Uh, now we are in contact in, with different companies. We are testing in, in, in the conditions and we are sending samples. That, that is what, in general, the process, but we are doing quite large scale uh, synthesis and we are sending the, the, the materials to different companies and they are testing. And then the, as conclusion, the, we can say that the process has been quite long because we start 10 years ago. It seems that we have an efficient material to use as absorbent, water treatment. And we can, the other conclusion is the process might take longer. <laughs> then, uh, thank you. Thank you very much, Matt, for your nice uh, talk. Indeed, I, I, I knew some of the results, but not all. And it's very interesting that uh, the prototype that you develop, which is a 20 euros prototype, I guess, is a Brita. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, that beta is better than activated carbon alone, which is yeah. no, which good to know. <laughs> it's no, something more. The, the activated carbon is, is, is a very good material, but in, in, in some cases, particular cases, not work. It's, uh, you have, and uh, it's true that the, 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 this polymer resin with ion exchange is it's more specific. Uh -huh, uh -huh. We have a we have a question from uh, from Zoom online, and it's uh, from um, Antonio Antonio Florido, and uh, he wants to ask you if uh, he says that all the metals are cations except arsenium three and arsenium uh, five, which are anions. Have you considered this, and how affects the recovery? Uh, I don't know what you have, how it affects. <laughs> really, I I don't know. It, it, uh, it, it can, the, the, the thing is that um, we have, we have the process is based, um, we think that the, 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 uh, the interaction between the, cla the, 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 the cluster, um, and the, the interaction, the, the cluster of zircon, the, the MOF is based uh, that we have is a zirconium cluster, and, and, and is a strong interaction between between the the oxygen of the cluster and the metals, and and, the, and this is one thing that we need to we are, we are exploring. Also, we have been exploring to functionalize this with uh, other uh, functional um, organic parts that, for example, thiolate thiols that are strong strong interactions and. Um, this advantage also that we have in, in MOFs and, and spread like that. We can combine a lot of things and we can be super specific. And this is uh, the objective, sorry. <laughs> the objective of, of. Good, thanks. I think that uh, Antonio, uh, Inar answered your question. If not, let us know. I don't know if there is any question more from the audience. I have a question indeed. I, I, I know the answer, but uh, I think it's tricky. Inar, how difficult is to scale up the system, considering both the particle, the MOF, and also the shell, the protective shell that you are including. Okay, the, 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 the MOF is now we can do multi scale uh, synthesis in, in kilograms. The nanoparticles, I think that you, maybe you are more expert than me. <laughs> It's not easy but, at all. But cerium oxide <laughs> is quite, it's not, it's not the, the most expensive uh, nanoparticle. Not really. But and is, for this, as we also, when we, are, we were talking together, it was one the option, one the, the option. We are working with uh, metals, more precious metals is more complicated. Mm -hmm. But it's not, in terms of, of, uh, of cost, it's not super, super high then. then okay, so we it, hope it can be implemented. Hope, and also, the, it seems that the proportion of, in, in, the, in the granule, eh, the proportion of, of, of the, of, of the serum, maybe it's maybe uh, two percent, something like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, we think that it is not the, the, the cost of this, the nanoparticle will not be critical in this case. Okay, so indeed, uh, the point is that it is feasible to translate this technology we, from the lab we hope. to. <laughs> Well, yes, yes, we are trying. Yes. Now, now we are. We, we, we need to show that we are. We will test. We have some project to test in some 
towns directly or absorbent, we'll see. We hope okay. that that are isolated in the Alps. We are. Okay. This is we are we are, we have. Yes, we we need to test at a large scale and, and, and check if the performance is, is good, and we can. Yeah, that's it. Thanks, uh, thanks, Inara. Thank you very much. And if there are no more questions from the audience, let's thank the speaker again. Thank you. Thank you again.